As we've seen over the last winter, flooding clearly causes huge amounts of damage and distress to, to communities. And we've seen over the, the past decades, you know, increasing frequency of winter flooding. Going forward, the predicted increases in flows, and flows to increase between 30 to 70 percent over a 100 year period, depending on the emission scenario. That's going to be a huge challenge to any of the infrastructure downstream. So we'll have communities at risk of flooding in the future that currently aren't at risk, but under the climate change scenarios will become at risk. So the Natural Flood Management Programme is a £4 million research programme to provide the scientific evidence we need to understand which natural flood management measures are effective in different contexts. So the aim of this programme is to look at how local measures can reduce the risk of people getting flooded, reduce disruption to transportation and reduce impacts on the local economy. And we're up here on the moors above Staley Bridge with Manchester behind us and UK peat moorlands are really quite severely damaged and eroded by a series of human impacts. Sometimes the solutions for flooding are quite difficult and this project is about looking at natural flood management in the catchment to reduce the flood risk downstream. It's a partnership project in collaboration with Manchester University and Moors for the Future. And we have academic partners at the University of Newcastle and the University of Leeds. We're setting up an experiment on, on this hillside to look at lots of different types of restoration intervention and see which ones have the best flood risk management impacts. And the sort of interventions we've got are things like peat dams where effectively we mound the peat up to store water behind them, timber dams and large stone dams as well. And the idea is to trap, slow and attenuate the water in the headwaters. What we then have it's enough time for communities downstream to prepare or um, slow the water enough such that the peak is reduced downstream. There's also clearly the environmental benefits of doing projects that restore peatland, um, which is what this environment would naturally be, that effectively hold and sustain more water. The University of Manchester bring in their expertise of the monitoring and the actual evidence around the, the benefits, which are really important. If we don't evidence the benefits that, uh, that we're creating here and we can't really justify doing more of the work. The science part of the project is funded by NERC and some of the intervention work is being funded um, directly by some of the environment agency funding. This is where collaborative working really really comes together to make a, an overall project that's bigger and uh, greater than some of its parts. So the idea is that it will give the people who implement flood policy and build flood defence measures the evidence they need to work out which solutions work in which areas. Mm -hmm.